right friends welcome back to fourth part and tata decided to exit uk steel business because of several reasons one is the global downturn excess capacity already created in china and basically dumping by china is another reason and less protectionist measures by uk is another reason so because of all these reasons tata decided to exit it's a steel business in uk and famous acquisitions at the time of ratan tata include acquisition of corus steel at the same time land rover and tetley t these are the important acquisitions at the time of ratan tata's tenure and if you look at the next aspect saudi arabia usa relations strained during the year 2016 USA Pakistan relations are also strained at the same time Saudi Arabia USA relations are also strained one of the basic reasons is USA is no more dependent on Saudi Arabia for oil because of the advent of shale in USA basically the extraction of shale became a reality because of that reason now USA is no more dependent on Saudi Arabia then if you look at the gcc countries this you should not forget gcc is predominantly dominated by saudi arabia basically predominantly sunni group of countries sunnis are in majority in these countries probably except bahrain and the saudi arabia led coalition is supporting the rebel forces in syria that is one part and at the same time government led forces it is supporting in mn so saudi arabia and its group of countries are behind two civil wars that means they are either this side or that side in civil war in mn as well as syria then if you look at iran iran is coming into the forefront nowadays because the sanctions were lifted by western countries and iran reduced its stockpile of centrifuges we learned in the previous part and at the same time iran reduced the stockpile of enriched uranium and because of these two reasons western countries are removing the sanctions against iran or you can say lifting sanctions against iran so now iran is coming to the forefront this is another thing which happened in 2016 then puttingal accident in puttingal major fire occurred more than that what is important for you to learn is what is the nodal authority for regulating various explosives in the country the nodal authority is petroleum and explosives safety organization this is the nodal authority and the second important aspect is it is under the department of industrial policy and promotion you can say ministry of commerce and industry so it looks at explosives act of 1884 petroleum act of 1934 these things are very important the prime minister unveiled stand up india this was unveiled on birth anniversary of babu jagjivan ram that is on april 5th basically under this stand up india underserved sections of the society such as scs sts as well as women entrepreneurs will be supported with loans ranging from rupees 10 lakhs to rupees 1 crore here refinance window will be provided by sidbi with an initial corpus of rupees 10000 crore this is very important and here two important points don't forget mudra bank is for small loans up to rupees 10 lakh whereas stand up india is for supporting scs sts and women entrepreneurs from rupees 10 lakh to rupees 1 crore these things don't forget and gatiman express india's fastest uh, train that is at 160 km per hour which runs between nizamuddin and agra was unveiled this year and the next aspect is string of perils policy of china china is giving the thrust to string of perils policy you may ask what is meant by string of perils policy it is opening up or establishing the sea lines of communication on the periphery of indian ocean or you can say 
along Indian Ocean periphery that is interconnecting or developing various ports. Please look into this picture. It will be very clear to you. And if you look at Panama Papers, Panama Papers created panic in the minds of black money holders who stashed their money abroad in tax havens and this uh, was analyzed by ICIJ. ICIJ means International Consortium of uh, Investigative Journalists. And uh, here, 500 Indians are also included in Panama Papers, don't forget. And India immediately constituted a committee consisting of RBI, at the same time, Financial Intelligence Unit and others. You may have a doubt what is Financial Intelligence Unit. Financial Intelligence Unit looks at suspicious financial transactions. Then solid waste management rules 2016 were unveiled. This is another step of 2016. Here the waste will be segregated into wet, dry and hazardous. Please look into this. Wet waste, dry waste, hazardous waste. And how is it different from solid waste management rules of 2000? I have given here how it differs from 2000 rules. It extends beyond municipal areas. And another important change is responsibility on resident associations, gated communities was also kept for disposal of waste. Then India signed Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement or LEMO with the United States of America. This is another important aspect. Here Indian and USA militaries can share each other's facilities. And two more agreements are there. These three are called foundational agreements. First one was signed by India. Two more are yet to be signed. And SISMO and BECA are the two more agreements. Let us wait and watch how Mr. Donald Trump will see India as far as diplomatic relations, defense relations, strategic relations are concerned. Then Prime Minister launched electronic national agriculture market. This is another landmark achievement. Altogether, by March 2018, a total of 585 agricultural mandis will be brought under ENAM, right? And here, middlemen will be eliminated and farmers will have freedom to sell and price will be stable because of this integration of markets through ENAM. 585 APMC mandis will be online by March 2018 as stated by the government. On initial day, 21 APMC Mondays across 8 states were connected. Sagarmala project will be ready in 5 years, stated Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari. Sagarmala is basically development of port infrastructure. Ports, infrastructure, modernization of ports. Then industries will be established near the ports. And Port-led growth is the main purpose of this Sagarmala and not only that, ports will be connected with expressways and also by developing waterways. Please don't forget, India is also giving a thrust for national waterways by increasing national waterways from 5 to 111. Then National Payments Corporation of India launched a unified payment interface here with virtual payment address. You need not reveal your bank account details with the virtual payment address. This is functional. This is unified payment interface. Then over 1 crore have given up LPG subsidy voluntarily. I have discussed previously. It is a give it up under give it up program. Now 1 crore have given it up voluntarily. Then if you look at India ratified trade facilitation agreement and it became 76th country and it will reduce the trade costs, improve trade flows and foster customs clearances and India is the 76th country. Then the next one is 175 countries signed historic Paris Agreement and after ratification by 55 countries contributing to 55% of emissions, Paris Climate Treaty for reduction of global greenhouse gases came into force on 4th November 2016. Then Great Barrier Reef Damage. 
This is another news in 2016. Great Barrier Reef is near Australia. That is one part. And the second important aspect is because of warming of ocean waters, this barrier reef is getting destroyed because expelling of zooxanthellae algae, right? Then I have given four reasons here. Increased ocean temperatures due to climate change, like that. Please go through them. Then the next one is uh, Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana was launched finally. We discussed about the unveiling of this scheme during the previous parts. It was launched. The subsidy is rupees 1600 per each uh, beneficiary and the total goal is 5 crore. Government launched Ujala. Ujala is Unnat Jyoti by affordable LEDs for all. It is a replacement of total 77 crore bulbs with LED bulbs. And Ujala is implemented by, this is very important, EESL, Energy Efficiency Services Limited. This is the joint venture of public sector undertakings under the Ministry of Power. These things very important. Ujala here, the efficiency I have given, please go through them. Then the biggest worry during the year is drug resistant TB. Drug resistant TB or you can say multi drug resistant TB as well as extensively drug resistant TB and here the TB which does not respond to at least uh, two most powerful anti-TB drugs is known as multi drug resistant TB and this is the worrying factor during the year and this along with the increase of antimicrobial resistance, these two are the worrying factors as far as health across the world is concerned. Right friends, with this let us conclude part 4. Please do join for part 5. Have a nice day. Thank you.